Dragon Ball Super Episode 29 Review. Guys, I am sick, and I feel like shit, so I'm going to make this a very quick review. To do this, I am only going to talk about my favorite parts of the episode. Now, the Vegeta and Bulma interaction in this, it was absolutely amazing. Bulma and Vegeta just sitting there, like, all the time, Vegeta was like protecting her and Bulma. Vegeta like put his hand on Bulma's ears and was like to protect her from beers and screaming. He took the full force of that attack to protect Bulma. That was really cool. There was that other scene after he got into Dragon Ball where Bulma stood up for Vegeta and was like, Listen here, Beerus, that's not fair. And then he's in there and like, You all want to die? The other Bulma was like, No. And then she goes over kissing him on the cheek, and it's like, good job, and then Vegeta freaks out. He's like, woman, what are you doing getting me to drop my guard like that? It was very good stuff. There's a lot of other great interactions. There was also been scenes in this episode where Vegeta was bickering with her. Well, Goku too, but they were bickering with her about all the things he was saying about Beerus. Like how Beerus was going to destroy the Earth. They were like, no, Beerus won't just destroy the planet for no reason. It was, it was so damn good. There was also, there was a lot of great interaction between them. We got in, our introduction to Tice in this. Now, I had not read the Jaco manga. This may have blown you all away. I had not read it. I plan on ordering it later, like, later to the Later this week, I plan on ordering the manga volume and reading Jaco. Because I don't want to read it illegally. It's like $2. But it looked very good. And just there's so many other great things about this episode. But all the, the, inter, the interaction between uh, Goku and Champa in the beginning, where Champa's like, here, catch. And Goku struggles to catch the egg because of the suit. We then get to see that they are vastly underestimating Goku and Vegeta. Because Champa even said, those two bastards don't. Or something like, those two bastards are way too weak to challenge me. Look, that guy with the crazy hair couldn't even catch the damn egg. So what he's pretty much saying is that Goku weak because he can't catch the egg. But we all know Goku could have caught the egg. It was only because of the heavy battle suit that he did not. There was also a lot of other great things in this episode. We got to see Vado making the ring and customizing the planet with her staff. He even created food with her staff. It's a very good episode. I don't have much to say on it. I'll give it like a not. I'll give it a nine out of ten. No, no, an eight out of ten. An eight out of ten. Just through the sheer staff, and they expect that everybody to have read Jocko with a lot of patrolmen. And you don't know the events of it. You're not going to understand who typed it. The other reason I give it an eight out of ten is that honestly, there wasn't a lot of action. I know that's not what Dragon Ball is about. I know that. And I don't even want action in every episode. But it does make the episodes a little bit slower, in my opinion. Good setup episode. Next episode was hype. In the trailer, we get to see Gohan train. We get to see Gohan train with Piccolo and all of this. But I'm going to say that for the Dragon Ball podcast. We're going to make export and maybe a guest. I, I'm fiddling with the idea. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. I'm sorry to think review is a lot shorter and less detailed than normal, but I feel like shit. There's nothing I can do about it. But have a great day, guys.